Hello, Life Guardians. This is Gavin Bevelel, the Director of Solution Engineering and Product Development here at LifeGuard Solutions, here to show you what easy configuration and customization looks like of your solution without any issues. What we're looking at today is customization or configuration of your individual dashboard. So use case here is someone typically calls up, says, hey, look, we want to add a new chart or a new report to an individual dashboard. We want to get that onto it quickly and easily. So making the assumption you've gone through and you've created that individual report or dashboard, as a system administrator, you can go in quickly, edit the individual dashboard at this point, and what we can do is we can add a brand new component here. Now, this component is asking us for the individual report that we were looking for or that we were looking at adding. So I can go down, select the individual report that I want. So in this case, events by month, I can click on select at this point, and it's going to show me a brief little preview as to what that report's going to look like. What we're going to do is change that up a little bit. We're actually going to change this into a line graph. I can go through, select that information, click on add, and what's going to appear near the very bottom? That's right, we can have that individual events by month. Now, this is a drag and drop environment. So I can go through and I can drag and drop this individual report anywhere I would like on the individual screen itself. So I can move this around. I can move this into the specific areas that I would want quickly and easily without any issue. And I'm gonna save this information. Once I save it, I get that little notification saying the dashboard has been saved and I can click on done and presto changeo, I have a brand new dashboard or a brand new report on this individual dashboard that everyone can see. But it's not just quick and easy to add individual reports or um, screens to your specific dashboard. Let's say if an individual wanted to add a specific individual field to a form or an application that you're currently using. So what we can do is take a look at, let's say our individual audit application. We have an individual uh, form here, quick and easy to use without any issue. But someone comes up and says, hey, Gavin, look, I want to go through and I want to add an individual field to this. Let's say it's a notes field. I can go in again as a system administrator without any issue, and I can add a brand new individual field without any problem whatsoever. So I'm going to go in, click on new at this point. I'm going to come down and I'm going to select, well, this is going to be a text area field. And again, I have different options for text areas, whether it be short text, uh, long text, in terms of a couple thousand characters, or in this case, I just want to keep it to 255. I'm going to click on next at this point, and I'm going to name this notes. So I have an individual field here. I can put in some help text or a description as to what this field is supposed to be for. I can actually input individual default formulas in here if I'd like to as well. But quickly and easily, I can start to assign permissions and who's going to see this individual field. And I can go through and I can save that information into the system itself without any problem. Quickly and easily, I've added that individual field into my system. But if I wanted to go through and take a look at to, as to where I'm actually putting that specific field in our form, I can go through and I can take a look at my individual layout at this point. So I can quickly and easily search for, let's say, notes here. Great, I see my notes, but it's already been selected. That's great. So now all I need to do is go through and I can see my notes uh, individual field here. Let's say if I want to drag this up and I wanted to put this just above frequency or maybe I don't want to put it there at all. Maybe I want to go through and put my notes down in my contact information. So I can quickly and easily save this information. And as I do, I'm going to go back to my individual form so we can see all of my original form itself. I can go through and refresh this individual screen. And once I do that, it's going to bring that same form back up quickly and easily without any issue. And I could start to see, well, here, look, here's my notes field today on my individual form. So people can start to use this individual field quickly and easily without any issue. And again, all this took was less than about two minutes to not only add an individual report to a dashboard, but also completely start to change my individual configuration of my solution. Once again, this is Gavin Babalal, Director of Solution Engineering here at Lifeguard Solutions. Hope you have a great day. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us and let us know.